Hey, it's AJ here bringing you this crumptuous air fryer mushroom recipe. So it is so easy and simple to make. Mushrooms are fungi and they are extremely versatile, meaning that they will adapt to any flavor that you season them with. What I enjoy the most because they are pretty much nothing but water, whatever seasoning that you put in it, it soaks it in. And when you put it in your mouth and you bite into it, it feels like it's bursting out that flavor. And that's what I actually enjoy when I eat mushrooms. Our recipe, we use portobello mushrooms just because they are nice in sizes, big and plump. Uh, we do enjoy it. Personally, I enjoy it because I love mushrooms. So start by cleaning up your mushroom, wash it under cold water. You want to do that because it's being handled and you know you don't know who handled it. So safety and hygiene, make sure to wash them. And once you wash them, pat them dry. And then let's add our seasoning. It's a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, parsley flakes, and of course, do not forget the garlic powder. Mushrooms are great substitutions for meat. So this recipe is vegan friendly, perfect for a low carb diet, and yes, it is also keto friendly. So go ahead and mix everything together until it is well combined. Place it in the air fryer and let's cook this bad boy. And again, remember that a full recipe step-by-step -step process is on our website at savorythoughts.com and there you will find the exact measurements as well as photo guides. So once you've uh, placed it in the air fryer, cook it at 370 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes depending on the type of air fryer you're using. And all you have to do next when it's done is enjoy this beautiful dish and look at all the water that came out of it. This is the seasoning you all going to enjoy. So that's it folks. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment. Let me know if you changed the recipe to add something else that you enjoy. Uh, let us know how you like it as a whole. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. See you in the next one.